I cannot believe in my brothers that we are just a couple of weeks away from the GTA 6 trailer. Can y'all believe it? I, I really cannot believe it. The game we waited centuries for, the game that we thought we would be playing with our grandkids, turns out that we are apparently gonna be able to play before our grandkids. Maybe, right? Because still they haven't confirmed their release date for the game. Uh, some seekers are believing that it's gonna be coming out in 2025. Others believe that it's never coming out regardless of whenever they drop the trailer. But the trailer is coming in just a couple of weeks from now. Oh, shit. Which is absolutely wild to say the least. But today Rockstar Games tweeted out, I wanna talk about it. It is starting, my brothers. It is starting. The teasers are starting. I cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. If you think the game is, uh, you know, you're gonna be able to play the game, finally gonna be able to play the game before your grandkids, but check this out, there's a video I wanna show you as well. Sean Fentano, Franklin actor of GTA 5, actively teases his appearance in GTA 6. He and Ned Luke might be shown in the trailer or in game because he ended up tweeting this out where he says like if i told you all i might get in trouble uh crying emoji and uh, you know homie uh, like the tweet and apparently seventy thousand people got to see the tweet God. Die. i was trying to search for that nuclear sound effect okay so it took, me, it took me some time right there but <laughs> But man, this is crazy. So Sega tweeted this out and then he ended up deleting the tweet. I mean, por qué? Why you delete the tweet, homie? Why you delete the tweet, Holmes? And then he posted by saying, yeah. And I'm like, damn, bro. The, my guy is trying to catfish everybody, okay? Like, first he said that if I told y'all I might get in trouble, then he deletes the tweet, then he drops a yeah. Then we got Rockstar Games says that, I check out going to Donald Radio, a new playlist you ready just for you. And before I get to show you what happened after this one, check out these comments, okay? Absolute straight clownry, my brother. Straight up clown. My guy says this. Franklin and Michael de la bande annonce uh, de GTA 6 Nema mais n'importe quoi sérieux. Where GTA? Where Trevor Edo? Who is he? He's a stronger. My guy, like, like, oh bruh. my god. Like, this is the guy that has been in GTA 5 for years. You're telling me you never played GTA 5? I mean, get your ass out of here, man. I, I swear to God, man, we got bots out here, bruh. But Rockstar Games says that, uh, you know, check out Grand Theft Auto Road, the radio, a new playlist curated just for you, revealing hidden gems and classics from your favorite songs and artists from across every station in Grand Theft Auto series based on your Spotify listening preference. I mean, listen, man, I personally never really listened to uh, the... the... <laughs> I never really listened to Spotify, no shit. But Suggers are actually saying this, right? This is their way to market the game. This is their way to uh, hype up GTA 6. Bruh. This is like them starting the teasers. Like, finally, 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 it is starting. It is starting. That's what some Suggers are saying. It kind of makes sense, right? Suggers are saying that. So, when is GTA 6 podcast dropping? Drop Suggers going on right now. Suggers saying this. Suggers saying that. We got Lou. Hey! Yeah, 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 that was a leaked gameplay that was showing up, you know what I'm Bruh. saying? Where we got to see the Lucia yeah, Bruna, I mean, you guys do not rewind the gameplay, stay strong, my brother, stay strong, but check this video out. According to the well-known GTA 6 leaks, there may actually be a new co-op mode. Yes, oh, you heard that right, oh, wow. and it seems more possible than what we originally expected. A Reddit user by the name of Tabalabin30 recently revealed- Wait, what? Habla Espanol? Wait, what? <laughs> build new finds that totally change how we can play the story for the upcoming game. So, what is the leak anyways? This rumor comes from some video clips that hint at the possibility of cooperative gameplay between the two characters. Yo, dog, co-op would actually be lit this time. The fact that they're gonna have Jason, they're gonna have Lucia with the big burner. Hopefully they do not nerf the burner, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. But... Co-op might actually make sense. You'll like the video if you want to see co-op, though. Right? In the game. Like. Apparently, leaks show what appears to be a player action manager that showcases various in-game actions available to players. For example, mm. if you were swimming in the water, the manager would say something like, Jumping, invalid, since Bruh, you obviously why, can't jump while swimming. It's just... Bro, just press X and you can jump, though. Like, it's a way to see Bruh. what the player is capable of doing in said circumstances. Now that you understand what that means, this player manager... No, I don't understand. Porque I 
I don't see no no understand it. You lo loco poco. I don't understand it. You lo there is seen in a video where Jason toggles between prone and standing in a gray box environment. The manager consists of five different sections: action list, source states, action context in scenarios, scenarios. and conditional actions. However, as far as we know, the leaks only reveal the contents of the action list section. Mm, in that okay. section specifically, okay. the actions are associated with a status, which appears to be based on the character's state in the game. These actions are linked to the character's behavior during specific situations. In the leaked video, the character Jason is shown standing still in an open environment. The actions with a valid status are the ones available to Jason in his current state, which is standing still in an open environment. Although many of these actions could have a full discussion of their own. Ah, uh, okay, man. Listen, bro. Like, I, I get it. Like, this is, like, very, like, cool and all. But can a brother get, like, the simplified version of it? Like, I get it, though. Like, co-op is coming, this and that. It leaked out, this and that. But, like, damn, bro. Like, simplify that stuff, bro. Any scientists in the chat? Let me know, bro. Let's focus on the ones hinting toward cooperative gameplay. For example, the presence of downed self-revive and downed self-suicide actions suggests that a character can be downed in some way. The idea oh, of a downed state or self-reviving hints at the possibility of multiplayer gameplay. Downed self-suicide could be a quick way yeah, that's cool and all, but can a brother perhaps get to see the trailer, though? That's all I'm asking, though. You feel this is cool and all, but can we get to see the gameplay? Can we get to see the trailer? Can we get the game in our hands? You know what I'm Bruh. saying? Before all of this crap, you know? Uh, and, and also, man, I, I as a brown man, I demand this game to have zero microtransactions. As a brown man, I demand that this game gets no shark cards. I mean, no microtransactions mean the same thing, you know what I mean? But like the video if you agree, bro. Because, uh, bro, like, I ain't, I ain't got that money for that, son for a player to die while downed, in situations where the other player isn't nearby to save them, something a single-player-only game wouldn't normally have. But okay. what is even more the insane is the buddy comms action, oh, which gives a lot of curiosity. The use of buddy in this might imply a code word for another co-op player, as it would make Makes little sense, sense to refer to the two main characters as- I, I think this game is gonna be really, really good, or at least I hope it is good. With two characters, with switching between the two, I think they can, they did a fantastic job with Michael, Franklin, Trevor with uh, three characters and switching was absolutely seamless and still to this day, nobody can beat Rockstar with, with that crap though. Crazy to say it, crazy to to think, but I, I feel like the two characters this time, the story would be amazing and co-op would actually make sense this time where, you know, you, you might be able to do and play Lucia's missions and then, uh, and, and you know, your friend can play as... Uh, as Jason, although, I mean, you would want to play as you, uh, and he also would want to play as uh, Lucia, uh, unless they, they nerf the Bunda, unless uh, she gets a strong independent treatment from Rockstar, and that Blackrock, the Vanguard, the ESG score, do not look up. Those of you that know, you know, like the video if you know, like the video if you're awake. But but here's the thing, though, right? Like, uh, if you are able, let, uh, emergency meeting, right, real quick. If you are doing co-op, right, and the game's length, if you were to play solo, is like uh, approximately like 14, 15 hours for you to finish the main campaign, right? Not talking about the side missions, obviously the game would be longer than that. But 14 hours for the main story, if you play solo. So you have to first do Jason's mission, and, and you know, mix and in the middle you can mix it. Obviously you're gonna switch characters here and there, uh, and you're doing missions for Lucia, you're doing missions for Jason, you're doing missions for, for both of them at the same time as well, whenever they are partnering up. But there would all obviously come a point where there are, both of these characters are gonna separate from each other, and you're doing missions back and forth, right? Like back and forth, sometimes Jason, sometimes Lucia. Now, here's the thing though, if there is co-op and you can do missions co in co-op manner, does that mean that you, you are able to do Lucia's missions when you are doing it and then your friend is doing Jason's mission? Will that, that cut down the gameplay time to 7 hours, maybe even 8 hours? Uh, instead of it being the regular 14 hours that I want to know though because here's the thing though in that aspect though I would rather 
play solo uh, than play co-op, but it would be a nice, nice little feature as well. For sure. Buddies in the game's narrative. It could involve communication between the two Thoughts? players, possibly for coordination, sharing information, or strategizing, or could maybe even involve voice chat. Buddy ping suggests tagging locations or objects for the other player. The thing is, there is absolutely no point in having this function in a single player game either. What further strengthens the Brad. belief in the possibility of co-op gameplay are other leaked clips, such as the one featuring Jason walking in the nightclub. It appears that Lucia might be controlled by another Rockstar employee, potentially testing the co-op functionality, as her movement doesn't quite look like AI behavior. Obviously, this could mean a lot of things. Other rumors have come out about a share inventory All my homies wanna play as Lucia so function, which was spotted in the leaks. This could, of course, just be a way to share inventory between the two main characters, but this would make more sense if used in a multiplayer aspect. Therefore, it begs the question, why would they even add a co-op mode? And that is fair to ask, considering that there has never never been anything like this in the past. Yeah. Well, there are Yo, one one in the comments if you want to see co-op, two in the comments if like big no though, big no. <laughs> I'm not against it though, but I just want to know like how is it gonna work though, right? Like if you the, the best way I can think is gonna work is that you, you play as Lucia your friend play as Jason And if you are able to play co-op like that, then obviously uh, It's gonna you guys are gonna be able to do missions really really fast though And that's gonna cut down the time unless Jason and Lucia are gonna be around for every single mission and therefore uh, you know if you're playing as Jason Lucia is gonna be AI and if you're playing as Lucia then Jason is gonna be AI. vice versa you feel what I'm saying but I want to know your thoughts click on this video on the screen this is one of the massive one of the biggest leak that just happened click on this video and I will see you right there